Hello, hello, and hello once more, dear and wonderful scene friends and YouTube friends and all that good stuff. Welcome back to Happy Mail Monday. If you are new here, I'm Nyx, and this is where I share the awesome mail that has landed in my post box over the past week or two weeks, <laughs> that sort of thing. Thank you, as always, thank you for bearing with me as I... <laughs> Dis dysfunctionally uh, travel through life. <laughs> I shouldn't be that way. I shouldn't uh, say things like that. You know, you gotta be kind to yourself and all that good stuff. But uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> there, there wasn't an email uh, that came in and then I had a really, really horrible couple of weeks. Uh, and that's just what happens in life sometimes. Uh, I try to take lessons out of everything and the lesson that I'm learning right now that I think I really need to accept is that uh, depression is not a cold. <laughs> I'm not just going to, uh, you know, have some chicken soup and a few days off and depression will be gone. Uh, it comes, it goes. Uh, and learning coping mechanisms and learning to get through the worst parts and things like that uh, it takes time and you, you you know I was first diagnosed when I was a teenager you think I'd uh, be to this uh, point already of learning and everything but uh, you know I'm stubborn anyway so yes it's been it, there's there have been times and there have been things but back on track and I have some glorious mail to share with you and all that good stuff so yes just thank you for bearing with me through everything you know I am trying to do <laughs> I feel like if this was a standard nine to five and I had like you know I go to the office and I do it you know, Monday through Friday blah, blah, blah. be a little bit different a little bit easier that sort of thing but it's not so here we are <laughs> and enough of my rambling on <laughs> i have wonderful mail to share with you it is my pleasure yeah. very excited i'm always very excited for the mail how could how could a person not be excited for the mail i mean bill's mail or it, that's not very exciting at all <laughs> but nice mail lovely mail that people from around the world send along and i am going to start with the one, the only, the fun, the funny, the unique and interesting, real Tayoga zine. Here we go. Oops, just get my fingers out of the way so you can <laughs> check that out. Real Tayoga, volume 20 already, wow. Now, if you're not familiar with real Tayoga, first thing to know is, see these stickers that are there? That's because real Tayoga comes with random little something. <laughs> <laughs> in each um, we're in a little something in each volume oh I knew I recognize that <laughs> this time we have a card from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles oh. <laughs> I knew I recognized April but I just didn't quite recognize it until I saw <laughs> realized what I was looking at oh, okay so I can only get to focus from this point so bear with me but yeah just a little bit of random nostalgia hidden in another awesome <laughs> issue of real tayoga and i say awesome because i love this real tayoga is a series um that takes clippings from a real community newsletter and it's often very funny and very like I, to the point where when I first received uh, an issue of Real Tayoga, I did I wasn't exactly sure if it was a real uh, community newsletter, if they were real clippings, because uh, some things like people <laughs> people are, are are interesting critters always, and yeah, it kind of it got into my head a little bit, not in a bad way, in a good way, and made me smile and anything and <laughs> anyway, excuse me, I'm a little bit ah, hyper. Anyway, yes, Real Tayoga. Very, very awesome. Love it. Love to see it land in my post box. And I'm always very happy to sit down and check out what people are, <laughs> what people are writing for this uh, community newsletter. But thank you. I, and of course, again, if you're new here, I will have uh, all the links to all the things that I can supply down in the description. So if you like the look of something you see here, you can check it out yourself because people are creating amazing things and 
are worth likes and follows and all the social media currency that we have there. So thank you to Walter for sending that along. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's always lovely to see real Tioga in my post box. And <laughs> I, see, I'm getting there. My thing is always I want to stop and like read the zines right when I get them, but I'm getting better at going, ah, here's the thing. I, I, I'm on camera. I don't, <laughs> I don't stop and read the things. Okay. So thank you <laughs> for real Tioga. Uh, next up, we have some lovely mail from across the state border from Connor. What a lovely, just, uh, excuse me, lovely, just surprised to see some mail from you, Connor. Connor ran, uh, they ran, uh, what was it, an Instagram contest, and I actually was fortunate to win some of Connor's amazing stuff. I think I've reviewed at least one of their zines so far. Um, I know which one I'm thinking of, but there might be another one, but anyway links in the bits and bobs so what do we have here oh goodness nice and tight <laughs> here we go and we have a note yay okay i love a note <laughs> kind of writing notes it's weird i love notes but i'm not i'm not a very uh, chatty note writer anyway so what do we have here Oh my goodness gracious me. These are the kind, I don't have permission to read the whole thing out on screen, but these, these are the kind of, I mean, I love a note, but this is so lovely. Of course I remember you, Connor. Of course I remember you. <laughs> You're absolutely fabulous. And, and yes, uh, apparently <laughs> in a little bit of a roundabout way, uh, Sea Green Zines has inspired Connor to make their first, uh, photography zine and I'm so excited because uh, photography zines are one of those things that I, I I like them and I want to make one but I'm kind of intimidated <laughs> I'm a little too intimidated at the moment to make one myself and I'm but I'm so happy to see that Connor has taken the plunge and created their first photography zine oh my goodness and poetry mixed in as well, it looks like. Oh my goodness. So what am I looking at? Renaissance One by Connor. Oh, of course I remember you. <laughs> Sorry, one point Sorry, one point in the letter was Connor, you know, saying, I don't know if you remember me, but yes, of course I remember. Oh. And this is brilliant. I'm just going to <laughs> okay the tiniest of peaks so you can uh, get in that glorious peak at that glorious gloss semi is it semi gloss anyway I like the kind of glossy that you don't have to worry about the uh, <laughs> the fingerprints and this is that but anyway congratulations on your photography zine that's so exciting to see and so touching that I could be even in the most vague roundabout far away ways if I have any part in the creation or inspiration and or creation of a zine I am truly happy I am fulfilling my purpose here in the zine cave and it's just absolutely lovely I'm so happy I'm so happy for you and thank you so much for not only thinking of me but also sending me a copy I feel so honored I really do oh it's really oh lovely lovely surprise and congratulations again thank you connor oh that's so lovely oh my goodness me <laughs> i love that people are creating things i love it i love it i love it this is there's so much happening that that um can can negate the creative urge and can sap that that part of your soul that stores the energy for creativity and and that people are pushing through that and saving their energy and using it and creating things and that <laughs> that I in any way even the most minute way inspired gave a, like a tiny spark of inspiration or anything like that is absolutely brilliant so thank you Connor and thank you for letting me know that <laughs> that um yeah that I'm I'm doing the things that I want to be doing oh, that's brilliant thank you thank you and lovely to see your name in my post box of course 
<laughs> oh my goodness me. That's just, it's just, that. that's what I'm here to do. But I mean, partly what I'm here to do. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm just crazy lady ranting at her camera at the moment, but you know what? If, if, if it creates some inspiration, then it's all good, right? <laughs> Enough of my rambling and on to last but never least, a lovely envelope from my amazing, amazing friend in Ireland. I don't even, it has to be a couple years ago now. Um, this comes from Emma Ward. Now Emma uh, writes Puddleside Muse that writes on the Puddleside Musings blog, but I'm that name may have changed recently. Something's ticking in the back of my mind that the blog name changed, so I could be wrong. I will be doing all of the double checking, of course, before I put links in the description in the bits and bobs. What do we have here? Emma is one of my amazing sneaky tea friends. Who, oopsies! Sends sneaky tea, but all, Emma also makes cards and does knitting, and it's all just, it's so much cool creativity again happening, and I love it. I adore it. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Aww. Aww, see, this is homemade, handmade card by Emma. That's so pretty. Love the aesthetic of that. So we have a note and a card. <laughs> That's so funny I mentioned the sneaky tea friends because we're being, with the, the way of the world right now and the delays with the mail, we're being very careful. Australia Customs is a bit frowny faced on tea, so <laughs> even sneaky tea is a bit of a risk. So thank you so much for the lovely note. And and how cute is this i love it oh it's so very <laughs> it's so very appropriate for the the warm days we've been having it was having a heat around these parts and this has its um nice um <laughs> magnetic closure and it's a little notepad oh that's so cute i love it and so useful i i'm i'm one of those people that people I, I have my notebook on my desk for the things and I still end up with like post-it notes and scraps of paper all over the place even though eh, the notebook for all of the things is right there but eh, old habits oh but this is adorable I mean do I really need to get over the the habits of that when I have cute things like that to collect uh catch all my notes and everything like that oh lovely thank you so much emma it's such a lovely surprise and it's absolutely my pleasure to send you mail i know it's a bit <laughs> it's especially tough with everything and anything overseas especially um my to my friend in amsterdam to my friend in belgium and to emma in ireland is some some places uh, it seems to there seems to be longer delays and I'm sure that makes sense in a geographical way that I don't want to think about right now because thanks <laughs> anyway thank you oh my goodness thank you so much to Emma thank you so much to Connor and thank you so much to Real Tioga it's lovely and thank you to you like <laughs> If uh, people didn't say that they uh, liked the Happy Mail Monday stuff, I probably would have stopped a while ago. But uh, yeah, it's really a pleasure to sit here and share the amazing creativity that's happening. Just prattle on in my own way. That's uh, <laughs> how I do things. It's usually a bit longer uh, of a video, but the, keep things a little bit short and sweet this week. And just appreciate all of the lovely, lovely, loveliness that has arrived that's so brilliant it's also brilliant <laughs> i do feel a little bit uh rusty like i'm still getting back into the swing of things and it's it's a little bit of an odd sensation but um you know when, when you stumble and dust yourself off you you walk a little bit differently while the <laughs> while the scratches and bruises heal so we uh up, do what we must upward onward all of that good stuff so thank you thank you to everyone who sends me gorgeous mail you, you <laughs> keep 
keep me going and thank you for everyone who watches these videos who comments and does all the social media currency stuff like that because that's what i'm calling it now because i feel i don't know people do it so naturally oh don't forget to like and subscribe you know i mean that's a, i mean i don't hold it against anybody but I, I just feel weird saying that myself because i'm sitting here showing you mail <laughs> awesome mail awesome mail from awesome people but yeah Anyway, I am rambling so, so very much this week. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that and say thank you one more time. I appreciate it with my whole heart and I'm wishing you all the best. Stay safe, stay creative, have some fun, make some zines, send some mail, and spread a little sunshine. I love this shirt so much. It's so comfy and it actually fits. I mean, you know. <laughs> so cool. Thank you to Rich from Feral Publications for sending me this. I love it. It's great. So, <laughs> so awesome. Thank you.